You mentioned your your Linux box before. How long have you been messing up with Linux for? And did that come like from like needing it for work and then doing it that, or was Linux an inch just uh, was Linux an inch just before that? I <laughs> this is gonna sound so stupid. I okay. use Linux for the window manager. I use Linux for window manager as well. Yeah, um, that's, that's it. Fine. I, I have no. I don't really want like I, I've never distro hopped. I, I used Ubuntu and now I use Pop OS. Like, I don't have a strong desire to deeply learn Linux, though I know enough about it to kind of, like, if I need to find anything, like, I've learned enough to be able to do stuff. Like, if I oopsie-daisy some stuff, I can go find where things are and delete them out. I I generally understand how things are source path, all that kind of stuff, right? Like, I, I generally kind of understand Linux, uh, but I don't really care as much as the fact that I just want an environment that I can press one key and go exactly where I want to be mm-hmm. always. And I just want it to work. And I just want it to be fast. And I want it to work. I don't care if audio works all the time, which sometimes it doesn't. It's mostly only doesn't because I have this capture card. And the right, capture right. card really is actually where all my problems are at. It's actually now, it's no longer Linux is my problem. It's now the capture card. So that's cool. But uh, it's still just like, that's why I use Linux is because I want a really good window manager. When I use Mac, there's not a good window manager. It's just like, there's kind of a window manager. There when I use some, Windows, like, Windows is just awful. I that, I can't use I can't use Windows like yeah. it just I have to use Unix like I I understand Unix I just don't understand Windows and it drives me nuts mm-hmm. so I've just kind of stuck with Linux because it's it works very well for my job you either use Mac or Linux at my job no one really uses Windows uh, just not really an option mm-hmm. uh, especially if you work on TV because TV has a kind of a Unix flavored. Uh, software emulator of the tv that you have to launch and program against so it's like you're either using linux or you're using uh mac there's no other option Mm -hmm. and so i don't want to use a mac i don't really care for mac like having a you know a quote-unquote nice computer doesn't really bother me i just want something that works Mm -hmm. and has a really great window manager and linux just totally fulfills that that's a very different approach from a lot of the people i have on because you know most of the people in my space are obviously like you know diehard Linux fans. Like I run Arch Linux, for example. There's a bunch of other people that run. I had a guy on not long ago, ran Gen 2, you know, things like Oof. that, like daily driving it sort of stuff. I know other people that daily drive Linux from scratch, things like that. But That's super impressive, though. It is, yeah. I I have done a Linux from scratch install. Uh, install. It's, 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 it's a waste of time. Um, unless you like compiling a lot of code and doing nothing but compiling code, just bootstrapping an LFS system takes a long time. Just getting all that basic stuff set up, it's not worth it. But I get it, it's cool, and I did it once. But it seems like the way that you use Linux is more of as, like, a tool. It's, it doesn't really matter, like, what the underlying, it doesn't matter what the underlying distro is. Like, you're here for the window manager, you're here for the Unix tooling. The rest of it... Yeah. The rest of it is just inconsequential. Like, if your distro was swapped out for something else, the only thing that would change to you is, oh, I need to install a package. My package manager is different. Yeah, I now have a uh, Pac-Man or whatever. Arr, arr, I don't know how to say that one. Uh, but yeah, it's like, I, that's it. And because the biggest thing for me is that, like, the reason why I love Linux is really I just want, I want the ability to customize mm-hmm. my developer uh, productivity. And so that's why I use Tmux. I'm sure I could use Kitty or Westerm or Ghosty. I actually am on uh, Ghosty's Discord. I have access to it. I'm gonna. That's like my next thing I might explore. But it, it doesn't buy me anything other than I'm using a more modern one. And so I, I, I may not stick with it at all. Uh, but I just want to, like, my favorite script I've ever built, I call Tmux Sessionizer. I don't know if you've ever seen it or ever used it, but all it does is I press Control F and you have a set of files that you want, and I find across all those files with the max depth of one, mm-hmm. or all those uh, directories, and then I put that into a little FCF thing, and you just select where you want, and then it will create a Tmux session in that location. Uh, here, here's here's a really mm. simple example. I'll just show you. I don't know if people can see it, no, uh, but like can. right now I'm in a work, I'm in a work project. Mm-hmm. I want to go to Vim APM. Mm-hmm. I'm now in Vim APM. Fantastic. I want to go to my dot files. Dot. I I could just again. Just control F, dot files. And now I'm in my dot files. It's just what it is. And so that's all I want to do. If I want to go back and forth, you know, I can just switch back and forth between. I just want that. That's all I want is that. Mm-hmm. And then I'll type where I want to go and go. Mm-hmm. So I just try to optimize my experience to be as fast as possible. Mm-hmm. And so everything, like I put my work browser on the same location every single time, GIMP on the same location, Slack on the same location. Everything is just a one key press, all the same location. Just try to build it as, 
you know, as just low overhead as possible. That is the complete opposite of my system. It is, as I said, as, you, as I mentioned about my Vim before, it is thrown together mess that happens to just work. But I, I really respect the idea of having like a super well put together system that like just... The only, th honestly, the only things that, like, are consistent in my, in my case, like, one thing I, I had to do is get my bookmarks out of my browser, because I swap browsers to, like, talk about them different times. So, I have, like, a yeah. script that loads up my, my bookmarks, and then it just, whatever browser I'm currently on. So, I don't need to, like, migrate things, this giant hassle. And I would like to do that for other things in my system as well. But, yeah, it's just something I've not got around to. It's a to, lot of work. It, yeah, it's a lot of work. <laughs> Yeah, um, so that's kind of like, that's my philosophy is I try to make my most often performed task mm -hmm. in the fewest amount of buttons and always the same. So like I never once think about where is my browser. It will always and forever be position one. Mm -hmm. And that's that. That's my personal one. My work one forever and always will be position eight. Mm -hmm. Slack will always be position five. GIMP six, you know, terminal three. Mm -hmm. Power finger right in the center. Just, yeah, you know, like. It will just always be that. And so mm. it's just like I never think I don't, you know, because the thing that I hate the most is search fatigue. There is no greater way to give me anxiety than watching someone explode on, on Mac and see all their applications open to find where they want to go. Like to me, I'm just sitting there like, oh, gosh, oh, gosh, what is this? You know, yeah, or yeah, they yeah. use the uh, the command tab, but it's not just like. You're not just swapping back and forth, which is a single click. You actually have to like, oh, go, 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 go. Okay, that one. Oh, go, 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 go. Okay, that one. Oh, go, 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 go. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I yeah. freak out because it's just like, press a button to get there. Why are you doing this to yourself? For me, the biggest one that I need to deal with is my tabs. Because normally when I'm just doing regular things, I don't have that many tabs open. When I'm doing video research, I can have 20, 30 tabs open. I'll yeah. have duplicates of the same tab. Like... Where is the thing I'm looking like? Oh, if I'm like um trying to do like a uh, some video on something happening on the links mailing list, I'll have like twenty different emails open in different tabs. Like, where did the email go? What do yeah. I do with this? And I, I don't have a good system for that yet. No. I hear people use like this grouping idea. There's like these vertical tabs or this yeah, yeah tree style tabs people like yeah. I, I haven't tried that yet. Honestly, what I do is every time I go to my personal browser, mm. and let's say I want to go to Twitter right now, mm -hmm. I go to my personal browser, hit Command-T or uh, Control-T, and type in Twitter. Mm -hmm. I just open a new one, and at the end of the day, I have 500 tabs open, <laughs> close them all, and move on. Yep. And just like, I'm just no longer going to look for it. I'm just going to, it's easier for me to type four buttons and open it up, because I just need to go TW, enter. mm mm, -mm. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Maybe that's maybe that's lazy in its own unique way, but it just it makes it easier for me. Look, you have the RAM there, so you might you paid for the RAM, you might as well use it. Yeah. So what window manager do you use? I3. I'm I gonna switch to not I3 here soon, mm -hmm. uh Sway at some point, but Okay. Everyone okay. says Sway is good. I gotta go over to Wayland and all that and and, and, and enjoy that. I'll do it soon. I still get screen tearing, so I want to not have screen tearing. Mm -hmm. And everyone's like, oh, you gotta use PCOM. You, you know, Compton's a problem. I've used PCOM and Compton and set all the settings and I've done so much of it. Yet, here I am. I still have screen tearing. So I'm just like, I accept screen tearing and I will switch one day if it pisses me off enough. It doesn't. I don't see it. Do you have a like discrete GPU in that system or is it just like whatever's on the CPU? Say that again? Do you have like an actual GPU in that system or is it just whatever is on your CPU? I think I have a GPU. Honestly, I don't even know. <laughs> it's it's a Lemur Pro. I think it has an integrated GPU on it. Okay. I, t I okay. typically try to shoot for integrated GPUs because anytime I've had a, like an NVIDIA or yeah, an NVIDIA GPU, my battery lasts for approximately 14 seconds. Right. When unplugged, it's like, yeah. I better run to the next outlet because it's going to die. So integrated GPUs is... You know, I'm not gaming on it. It's purely sure. a work machine. I have a 470 sitting right here, the one I'm streaming on right now or mm -hmm. recording this video on. I'm going to use that one. Sure. I have two 2070s right here. I'm going to, you know, me and my kids, we all play uh, WoW together or mm -hmm. Roblox. So I'm just going to use, I'm just going to use the big machines for the, uh, the that task. 